So let's get into our swing and just do a little warm up lap here. Put the swing behind our back and just drop our hips and remember to have length in the spine. So the most important factor about this is called the sumo squat, is to engage through the shoulder so it's like our, all of our weight is holding here, so the chest opens, but the hips stay really low. Most people press their hips up and they don't get the length in the spine. So let's just sw swing the hips a little from side to side, shifting in the space. And then the arms can get a little bit of a break by using the forearm press. But notice I didn't move my hips at all to make the transition. So my hips are like dangling, you know, like a little baby who doesn't try to effort <laughs> when you try to pick them up. It just stays heavy. So keep the hips heavy like that. But then the upper chest stays nice and engaged. So let's just get the hips warmed up and open. Let's get the upper body engaged. So we find this nice balance between engaged but relaxed in the poses. Okay, is there anything specific you wanted to work on today? What, what, what can I help you with? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can work up to that. Let's start out with some leg stretches in the swing. So go ahead and get the leg loops behind the ankles. So this is called Floating Buddha. I'm gonna bring these down one, make sure the height of the leg loops are appropriate for you today. The lower you bring them, the easier it is. The higher up they are, the more you get a hamstring stretch, so it's harder. So find the height that feels good. Typically, you don't want your toes higher than your chest. That's a nice way of noticing. So I could bring mine down, but I wouldn't bring them any higher than this. Good. Yes. So but you, you could bring it down, but not up. But that's fine the way it is. Yours is very similar to mine. Yeah, that's fine. It's just a bigger hamstring stretch. So since you've been practicing with me for a while, that's okay. And we'll just windshield wiper from side to side. Uh, use the forearm press, but keep the hips heavy. So notice I don't lift my hips at all. Just keep the hips heavy and an arch with the upper back to take pressure off the arms. So we're gonna get into some more of the details, some more of the fine tuning with one another since we've been practicing together. And let's go ahead and keep the right foot in floating pigeon. Should all be a nice review, but since it's been a couple weeks, we'll start out nice and slow. Great. So drop the hips. So drop the hips as much as you can. Drop the hips. This one, the left side, drop it down. So hips are always towards, so you're like this? Yes, that's better. So there's always weight in the lower body. There it is. It's a bigger stretch then, yeah? You can feel that? So we slowly open that up, and then we change sides. So we're gonna pull the leg loop in, and at the same time, keep the hips down. Mm -hmm. So, it's, so th if the leg loops are high up, it might be difficult to get the feet towards the chest, but that's the direction we're going in, yes. So we can have the knee come down towards the earth, or we can pull it in. So try pulling it in a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's how you deepen the stretch. Really good. Okay, open it up and just come into a starfish. So go ahead and keep the hips heavy, but lean back. Shake out the hands. Rotate the ankles around. Just give some energy to the extremities. Beautiful, and now both feet will come together. The hips lift slightly here, and press the knees down. Press your knees down. Yes, so open up the inner thighs. Beautiful. 
Inhale, open the arms, and then exhale, reach forward for the leg loops. Not the swing, but the leg loops. Yeah, as high as you can. And then let yourself lift the hips and lean back. So we're going to come into the flying monkey pose. And then we're just going to exhale, sit down. As we sit down, we keep holding on. And we open the legs. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. So we bend the knees and press the feet together. Lift the hips and lean back. Stretch the front of the neck and the shoulders. Get a nice stretch to the front of the body. Beautiful. Exhale, sit down and open it up. Okay, we're going to stay holding on. More leg stretches. Bend the right knee in. This is called bow and arrow. So we engage our arms. I know it's a little bit, but then we're shooting the energy through the left toes. So we're real intentional here. And then open up both legs, bend the left knee, and shoot the energy out through the right toes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Nice. And then both legs open, and we're going to do just a little bit of strengthening today. Not too much, Barbara, okay? So more restorative, but see if you can do a couple bicep curls into the wide straddle. Just a couple. Yes. Warm up the arms. So if we did a lot of those, we'd be moving into our dynamic strengthening. Okay, great. So go ahead and, and chill it. So clasp the, the hands behind the head and just windshield over the legs a little bit. So whenever we want to we want to chill, we just use the chillaxin arms. Let the legs sway from side to side. And just take a moment to reset. Okay, great. Now from here, let's go ahead and just bend the knees, come through center, and then we're going to wind up in our chillax and pose completely with bent knees. So as we're swaying from side to side, let's go ahead and bring the right foot on top of the left. So the foot is close to, to the leg loop. So there's a couple different stretches we can do. We start pressing the hips up and to the right. The left hand grabs for the right leg loop, so it's a diagonal. Yeah. Keep your arm around the swing, and then pull and twist. So this is coming into a freeze frame. It's a nice hip leg stretch as well. Good. And then release, and let's just change sides. So the left foot comes on top. So this is called floating pigeon. And then our, we open up our arms, the right hand goes on a diagonal and grabs for the left leg loop, yeah, and twist. So we're pushing our hips. We're pulling it in, no, no, the stretch is in. So we're twisting, knee comes forward, we have our ribs are twisting towards the earth. So we have our left rib cage coming down. Yeah. Good. And this is called um, freeze frame. Should feel really good on the hips. And then we're going to release through center. Reach forward. Open it up. So we're preparing for our skydiver. And then exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open it up. Press forward with the heart a little bit more. Yes. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, come forward. We do that three or four times to just make sure the legs are ready and then skydive our arms, feet together. So in this pose where our arms are engaged, so notice if you press your hands towards me, it gets stronger, right? Mm-hmm. And then we'll go ahead and relax into the floating butterfly. So butterfly is just simply bending the elbows but relaxing the chest. Good. Chest is relaxed down. Okay. Press your feet down towards the ground. Catch yourself with your arms so you come on back. 
chillax it out a little bit. So this is swagger. Get a little swagger in your swing. Okay, good. So come back through center. Let's just do a quick, this is our warm up lap still. Let's do a quick chillax and flow. Arms, arms are open wide, and then we exhale and round in for our child. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, blossom for star. Expand the arms and the legs. Open up. And then exhale, come back through for floating child. So back to our first position here. Round your back. Let the lower back lengthen. And now inhale one more time for star blossom. So see if you can really stretch the palms open, flex your fingers back and notice if you can shake out the fingertips a little bit and get a nice stretch through the nerves of the arms. And then when we exhale, we squeeze the legs together. We squeeze the hands together into prayer in front of the heart. Come through a reverse namaste. Hold on to the swing and let it slide into the waist and come into ladle. So in ladle, our palms are up, fingertips are on the floor, and then go ahead and bend the knees. Let's come through a bow, just one simple back bend. Make sure that your back feels good, the lower back is happy. and just stay there for a couple breaths. Since we're only gonna do one, let's hang out here for a little bit. When you're, re when you're ready, release your ankles, reach up, grab for the swing, and come to seat. All right, so you'll notice if your leg loops are higher, the back bend is harder. Okay, if, you're, if, if your leg loops are higher, then your knees are going to be higher than your hips and you have to pull down strongly. You don't want your knees to kind of float towards the ceiling. You actually want to pull your knees, your feet down towards the floor. So that's, that's a real common thing is people lose engagement through their legs, but we're pressing our hips down and pressing our knees towards the floor. So try it one more time so I can see you. So come into the bow pose. <clears throat> so just come right into the bow pose. So bow pose is when you hold on to the swing. Push your hips up towards the sky and then pull your knees down towards the floor and grab your feet. Yes. So pull your knees down towards the floor. Yes, pull down, push weight and grab your ankles. Yeah, yeah, pull your knees down more, pull down. Yeah, there you go. So engage through the lower body. What's great about having our private sessions is we can um, go over some little details like that that you might not be able to catch when practicing on your own. That's great, now go ahead and come out. So reach up and grab for the swing and slowly transition, remember? We said slowly in the transitions with, to make sure, yeah, good, all right. And did you feel the difference in the back bend with the legs engaged a little bit more? Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, great. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and come on out of our chillax and pose. We're going to get ready for our leg stretches um, from a standing position. Let's go ahead and just rock back and forth a little bit. Um, I like coming through the wide straddle to come out. So wide straddle forward fold, elbows hook. So in this position, let's go ahead and press forward with our hips. It's called a peppermint patty. We press forward and stretch the chest. So lift the heart. Yeah. Elbow creases with the, light, with the swing. So you press forward 
Yeah. And then press. 